Have you ever been captivated by tales of hidden treasures and enigmatic maps that hold the key to unimaginable riches? Throughout history, countless individuals have embarked on quests to decipher mysterious encrypted treasure maps, hoping to uncover their coveted secrets. These cryptic documents, encoded with secret codes and symbols, have baffled treasure hunters, historians, and cryptographers for generations. In this video, we will delve into the realm of the unknown and explore the top 10 unsolved encrypted treasure maps, each shrouded in a veil of secrecy that has yet to be lifted. From ancient civilizations to notorious pirates and legendary adventurers, these maps offer tantalizing clues, but their true meaning remains elusive. Join us on a journey of intrigue and mystery as we unravel the enigmas behind these fascinating encrypted treasure maps. Will you be the one to crack the code and unlock their hidden fortunes? Let the quest begin. Let's begin from 10. The Copper Scroll Discovered among the Dead Sea Scrolls between 1946 and 1956, the Copper Scroll stands apart from the rest due to its unique content inscribed in Hebrew on thin copper sheets. The text consists of 64 sections, arranged in 12 columns, each typically describing a hiding place and the treasure to be found there. The treasure described in the Copper Scroll consists of vast quantities of gold and silver, as well as many coins and vessels. It is difficult to assess the value of what is described, since we are not sure what the weights in the scroll are actually equivalent to. But it was estimated in 1960 that the total would top $1 million US. With this great treasure list, you may ask, why isn't everyone out looking for the treasure? The truth is, some treasure hunters with metal detectors are searching for it. But it is not all that easy. To begin with, we do not know what all the words in the text mean. The text is in Hebrew, which is certainly a known language, but most ancient Hebrew texts that we have are religious in nature, and the Copper Scroll is anything but religious. Most of its vocabulary is simply not found in the Bible or anything else we have from ancient times. Not only is the vocabulary of the scroll very technical, some of the geographical locations are unknown after so many years, many are too specific, and some refer to places that no longer exist. There are those who have suggested that the treasure never actually existed, that the Copper Scroll is simply a work of fiction. Even if the treasure did exist, we do not know where it came from or who it belonged to. Some believe the scrolls refer to temple treasure, hidden for safekeeping before the destruction of the Jerusalem Temple in 70 CE. Others believe the treasure belonged to the sect that lived at Qumran, a sect usually identified with the Essenes, a Jewish group mentioned in the work of the Jewish historian Josephus, who wrote in the 1st century CE, however, these are just educated guesses. Who the treasure belonged to, and what happened to it, we may never know. The treasures mentioned in the Copper Scroll, if ever found, could potentially rewrite history. What do you think about the Copper Scroll treasure maps? Let us know in the comments. 9. Pirate Treasure at Palomino Point, Hawaii a coral break off Hawaii's big island called Palomino Point may contain more than $5 million in pirate loot. Captain Thomas Cavendish, an English privateer who lived in the 16th century, may have interred some of his vast silver and gold wealth near the point, according to the book Hawaii's Unsolved Mysteries. Modern day explorers have attempted to find the lost treasures or even the captain's ship's wreckage, but so far both efforts have failed. 8. The Voynich Manuscript the Voynich Manuscript is a 15th-century book filled with strange illustrations and undecipherable text. Most of the pages have fantastical illustrations or diagrams, some crudely colored, with sections of the manuscript showing people, fictitious plants, astrological symbols, etc. The text is written from left to right. The manuscript is named after Wilfred Voynich, a Polish Lithuanian book dealer who purchased it in 1912. The Voynich Manuscript has been studied by professional and amateur cryptographers, including American and British codebreakers from both World War I and World War II, but so far, all unsuccessful. In 2020, Yale University published the manuscript online in its entirety minus 225 pages in their digital collections library. This means everyone can now study the full manuscript and try to resolve this mystery. 
Did you study the manuscript? Do you think the Voynich manuscript is real or could it be a hoax? Let us know in the comments. 7. Nazi Treasure Map Amarin The Nazi Treasure Map of Amarin suggests that fleeing German soldiers buried a cache of gold, silver, jewels, watches worth millions of euros, somewhere near the village of Amarin in the Netherlands. The archive said the map was believed to indicate where Nazi soldiers had hidden four large boxes filled with diamonds, rubies, gold, silver, and all sorts of jewelry, which they had looted after an explosion at a bank in August 1944. The map was obtained from a German soldier shortly after the war by the Dutch Institute that was tasked with tracing German capital in the Netherlands after the country was freed from Nazi occupation in 1945. Dutch officials have several theories to why the treasure has proven so elusive. They think it's possible that a local witnessed the original burial then dug up the treasure themselves, that one of the Nazis returned to the scene and retrieved the treasure, or even that American soldiers came upon the cache of treasure and dug it up. We don't know for sure if the treasure existed, but the small chance of finding any valuables did not deter the amateur gold diggers. After the map was made public by the Dutch National Archive, hundreds of people with metal detectors, gold detectors and shovels wandered through the fields surrounding rural Amarin. Today, the Nazi treasure map of Amarin is still an unsolved mystery. 6. The Golden Owl The Golden Owl is a hidden treasure mystery that emerged in France in 1993. A book titled On the Trail of the Golden Owl contains a series of complex riddles and clues, which, when deciphered, should lead to a golden owl statue buried somewhere in France. Despite the book's popularity and the relentless efforts of treasure hunters, the exact location of the owl and the treasure it guards remain unknown. 5. The Beale Papers The Beale Papers is perhaps the most famous unsolved treasure mystery in history. In the early 19th century, Thomas Beale reportedly buried a vast fortune with gold, silver, and jewels worth $43 million in Virginia. He left behind three encrypted suffers that were supposed to reveal the location of the treasure. Despite numerous attempts by cryptographers and treasure hunters, the codes remain unbroken, leaving the treasure's whereabouts a tantalizing mystery. Will you be the one to resolve this mystery? Become a treasure hunter yourself. Although the chance that you will find the treasures are very small, nothing is impossible. Study the Beale Papers and buy a metal detector at the International Detector Center to find the Beale fortune. 4. Dutch Schultz Treasure Dutch Schultz was a crime boss in New York's underworld. While on his deathbed in 1935, Schultz rambled incoherently about a $7 million fortune he had buried in upstate New York. Today, Dutch Schultz's treasure is said to be worth more than $50 million. Gangsters like Lucky Lucky Luciano, Al Capone and Dutch Schultz made millions illegally manufacturing and distributing bootleg liquor. At a hideaway in Connecticut, Dutch and his henchmen, including Lulu Rosencrantz and a man named Marnie Crompier, rent a vows. They packed bundles of thousand-dollar bills, negotiable liberty bonds, gold coins, diamonds, and other gems into a steel-plated strongbox. Dutch Schultz had the only key. That night, Dutch and Lulu traveled to Phoenicia, New York a town Dutch knew from its bootlegging days. Dutch swore Lulu to secrecy and then supposedly marked the site by carving an X into the trunk of a nearby tree. But Lulu couldn't keep his mouth shut. He told his friend Marty Crompier where the treasure was buried. Some say Lulu even drew a map for Marty. Dutch Schultz died at 8.35 p.m. on October 24, 1935, almost 22 hours after he had been shot. He was just 33 years old. His bodyguard, Lulu Rosencrantz, had died hours earlier. That left only one man who knew where the treasure was buried, Marnie Crompier. But according to Thomas Terry, Crompier never recovered Dutch's treasure. On the night of the chop house, Murder's two henchmen caught up with Marnie at a barber shop in New York City, gunned him down and took the map. Crompier survived the attack, but he was never able to locate the treasure without the map. I personally believe the treasure of Dutch Schultz was buried, and there's a good possibility that it still exists today. Perhaps Dutch Schultz's treasure is still buried somewhere in upstate New York. If so, someone who finds a tree with an X carved in it just might hit the jackpot.
3. The Nazi Gold Train of Poland Among the most famous tales of hidden Nazi gold is the claim about a train that was laden with gold and other treasures and then hidden in Walbrzeć, southwest Poland, at the end of the Second World War. There have been dozens of searches since 1945, with no trace of the locomotive and its vaunted contents having been found. The latest twist in the story came in 2015. Two men identified as Piotr Koper from Poland and Andreas Richter from Germany said they had used metal detectors and a ground-penetrating radar to locate the train and said these GPR images prove the train was buried 9 meters down in rail tunnel. The two men opened secret negotiations with the Polish government for a finder's fee of 10% of the value of the train in return for information leading to its location. They would reveal the exact location once the documents were signed. Eleventh e search culminated in a dig involving the Polish military, state officials, and privately funded individuals. However, excavations were halted when the detected anomaly was found to be natural geology. Experts then cast doubt on the likelihood of the existence of the train, saying that a tunnel may exist, but the train did not. 2. The Cocos Island Treasure Located off the coast of Costa Rica, Cocos Island has long been associated with hidden pirate treasures. Gold, silver, gems, and church treasures were all buried by pirates on the tropical Pacific island. How much was ever recovered by the buccaneers from the peak of tropical rainforest jutting out of the eastern Pacific Ocean is unknown, and the five-mile-long island has been a magnet for treasure hunters for centuries. The greatest of all the stolen hoards was the Lima treasure. This vast collection of gold, silver, and church treasures, including a life-size and gem-encrusted gold statue of the Virgin Mary, was kept in the colonial capital and destined ultimately for Spain. But revolution was underway in the early 19th century, and it was too dangerous for it to stay in Lima as the rebel army of Gosset de San Martin approached. The Lima Viceroy entrusted the treasure to a Scot William Thompson, captain of the British merchant ship, the Mary Deer in Port of Calo, in August 1821. Legends tell of enormous riches buried. However, Thompson left behind a cryptogram that supposedly reveals the treasure's exact location. Despite the efforts of many adventurers, the cipher remains unsolved, leaving the treasure's whereabouts and its potential wealth shrouded in secrecy. Treasure hunting is now forbidden on Cocos Island, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, because of its unique and exotic marine and land ecosystem. Although some adventurers have tried to gain access under the guise of scientific research. 1. Lost Dutchman's Gold Mine, Arizona One of the most well-known and hotly contested catches in America is the Lost Dutchman's Treasure. Although some versions of the story claim that Apache tribe members or former soldiers of the U.S. Army found the mine, Jacob Waltz is generally credited with making the find. According to legend, Waltz assisted in the rescue of a member of the Spanish governor of New Mexico's family, who told Waltz there is a lost mine with enormous gold veins hidden someplace in the Superstition Mountains. Waltz discovered the mine, sold the U.S. Mint more than $250,000 worth of gold, and then revealed its location to someone as he lay dying. The outcome is a hastily drawn map with few details that led to a 200-year search. But if it weren't for the 1930s treasure hunter Adolf Root's passing, the Lost Dutchman's mine might never have gained widespread attention. There were two bullet holes in Ruth's skull when her body was reportedly found in the Superstition Mountains. Ruth's checkbook was nearby, and in it was a note describing how he found the mine and providing specific details on how to locate it. Who, though? Nobody is aware. Many historians think this was an extraordinary and protracted case of telephone that sent people on a wild goose chase, despite the fact that thousands of treasure hunters still travel to the Arizona desert each year to search for the mine. These ten mysterious encrypted treasure maps and codes continue to captivate the imagination of treasure hunters, cryptographers, and history enthusiasts around the world. They represent unsolved puzzles that hold the promise of incredible wealth, hidden knowledge, or undiscovered historical artifacts. As time goes on, new techniques and advancements in code-breaking may eventually reveal their secrets. Until then, 
These enigmatic treasure maps remain as captivating mysteries, fueling the sense of adventure and intrigue that treasure hunting brings. That's all for today. Do you want to become a treasure hunter? Then buy a metal detector at the International Detector Center. Do you love discovering history? If yes, then our channel is a treasure trove of knowledge, experiences, and discoveries. Now hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. You won't want to miss what's coming up.